Hello, it's Jesse here, and today I am starting a new series with a um, tutorial for Mr. Crayfish, um, a developer in Minecraft mods, um, device API for his device mod. Um, so, this is, I would advise having a basic knowledge of like Java and Minecraft stuff, and I would recommend checking out my channel, my, not my channel, uh, the videos on my channel of normal Minecraft um, modding development, uh, which is the normal Minecraft API rather than this before you get into this. Um, and if you want to know how to set up a workspace, um, you're also going to have to check that out. Uh, just episode one of it will teach you how to set up a workspace and everything. And what we're going to do first is start off um, creating a new package uh, called in the Xnator dot. Uh, let's just call it tutorial apps because it's a computer uh, mod with like computers and stuff. And I'm going to be making a tutorial of like how to make cert do certain things and make certain apps and stuff. Um, so we're just going to start off with our main class, and we're just going to call it tutorial apps. And now what we want to do with this is to add two um, private. No, we don't want those to be private. Public, static, final strings, and we want these to be. Uh, well, we need to give string name. I want the first one to be mod id mod 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 id, and then we want equals and the second one public static final string string and we want to call this one version and this will be version 1.0 of our mod uh, and mod id we're just going to set to uh, i'm just going to call it x let's just call it actually tutorial apps and then up here like we do normally in minecraft stuff we want the apt mod um, thing <laughs> annotation and we're going to import that just like that and we're going to do mod, mod id equals um tutorial apps dot mod id um then we want oh, why isn't that oh yeah because i forgot yeah uh, then we want version the version equals tutorial apps dot version uh, what else do we need? Why doesn't that like that? Oh, I've accidentally put uh, that there. Uh, what else do we need? We need accepted Minecraft versions. Accepted. Ex how do you? We need the accepted mine. Uh, accept, accepted Minecraft. Minecraft versions equals um, just one point. Oh, we need to open square bracket one point eight point nine. Uh, close squiggly bracket. Uh, squiggly bracket. Um, close parenthesis and then a comma. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that needs a comma, and then we need a comma here, and we need to, oh no we don't, uh, we need to put this, which I've just copied, um, dependencies equals required after CDM, and then whatever version of it you're using, um, at the moment it's still version 1.0 I believe, because it's uh, still just the like, alpha, and uh, to get the actual API, you need to go to here, uh, your workspace folder, to create a new uh, folder in here called lib, and put these two files, which there will be a link to um, a place you can download them in the description below. Um, it's the API and the Java doc for the API, so just make sure you put those in your lib folder. And then we're going to want to quickly right, right click on our project and go build path, configure build path, so we can add these to our build path in libraries, add jars, MDK example, lib, and device API prototype. Then we want to go to this drop down and add the java doc location which is going to be in the same folder because we've put it in our lib folder you don't have to but i have it doesn't like it what have i done oh java doc in archive sorry workspace file because we have it in our workspace um i want to go to here you don't have to have yeah you don't have to have a workspace file you can have it externally but i've put it in the workspace just because i can and then validate that to make sure it's fine uh, you want to put doc in here and then okay apply and okay now we have it in here and we need one method here um, rather than normal lots of methods event handler which we need to import um, public static void no not public static uh, public public void pre in it and we want fml yeah fml uh fail my life um fml in pre-initialization event 
uh, and then E. Why well, doesn't like that? Didn't import. Sorry, this is actually meant to be post init. Uh, just realised it's meant to be the post initialization event, so we can fix that import there uh, with Control Shift O. And in here, we want a package called apps. So what I'm going to do today is just to create an app. Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm just going to create a simple app um, that will just open just an empty app, and it won't do anything else until later on when I'm really going to like probably get into it and show you things we can actually do with it, uh, like tasks, um, dialogues, make games, um, make shops and stuff, um, messaging software stuff, emails and that kind of thing. So we're just going to call it tutorial note application tutorial and finish put that down and type in here extends because uh, you want to extend the application and we need to be sure you choose com mr crayfish device api app and then add the constructor here then we can just do that and you don't need these in here we don't need any parameters we just need super um, we want to put in here tutorial apps dot mod id plus um, tutorial app get rid of that and then the display name we're just going to call tutorial app uh, this will be the display name and just the um, the id of the app you want to put in your mod id here because you want the name of the app to be completely unique Ooh, sort that there um, and then we want to add the unimplemented methods, which is save and load, uh, which we will be using, just not right now. Um, and then all we need to do is go to tutorial apps in the post init. We need application manager, application manager dot register application, application, no, we don't want that. We need a new application tutorial. And then if we run our game, we're not going to have any laptop or anything. We do need to run our game once before we can fix it and actually activate the API and the mod um, to be in. So we've got the API, but we just can't actually use it yet. So to be able to use it, we need to change something in the config. So we just run the game once. So yeah, we'll just go to here. So this is where it's going to be in run. Oh, damn. Um, I don't know why I'm lagging so much. Uh, whoa, this is a bad idea. And then just go to config here. It doesn't lag. Okay, let's, let's do that after. Uh, okay. Um, okay, it's has it. Okay, it has made the thing, so we don't need to run that anymore. And we just need to change this to true to enable the API. And save that. Close it. And run the game. Wow, I have three three clicks workspaces open at once. It's a very good idea. Should always try that. Um, probably isn't that bad actually. Damn, I should get some coffee. <laughs> I made coffee and then forgot about it. And I'm rambling on. Pretty much can do. Um, also, if you're wondering why, if you've watched the other tutorials and realised that I've started like speaking slower most of the time and trying to speak more clearly and slow down and actually focus on the modding rather than what I've just been rambling on about in other series series um, it's because I it's, I, I, I know that you you come here to learn how to do this you don't want me to be completely serious because I'm, I'm very I'm being very assumptive right now by the way um, if you do think I should be really serious and never make a single joke well then I'll make jokes more, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you, you, I'm guessing, are here to learn how to uh, use this API and everything, and you don't want me to just hear me rambling on, you want to learn how to do it, but you don't want me to be too serious, because you want me to be, you don't want it to be just boring, very assumptive, but yeah, and now we're just going to generate a new world, uh, it's going to load up the world, which takes far too long, there we go. And then to be able to download train. Now to actually get the laptop get the laptop, because as you see, even in the creative inventory, there's no tab for the mod. Um and we won't find it in 
to create an entry. So we need to go slash div, tab your player name, which will just be whatever it generates for you. Um, and then we want to go uh, CDM, crash device, mode, and then tab, and you'll get the And as you can see, it doesn't actually have a name or a texture yet, because it doesn't need it in the actual version of the mod which I believe it does have in the actual version of the mod, don't worry. The actual version of the mod also is not out yet. You can't use the proper mod. You can use an application developed by Mr. Crayfish. Um, you can use this. Um, our application hasn't shown up. Great. Uh, I think I would have done wrong. If we just quickly close this and we look here. Yeah. Um, identified a problem. Hmm. Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, I did this wrong. This is not meant to have a comma. Okay, this here is meant to actually just be two square brackets. I got confused because of this bit here. Um, but now if we run a game, it will work. Also, I'm just gonna be sure to say now, uh, remember that this mod and API is in really, really, really early development stages. And don't get angry. Mr. Crayfish, if there are problems and stuff, uh, just spam him on Twitter instead and call him a bad developer. Don't do not do that. Um, if there are any problems, I'll put a link below to the official website for the uh, this uh, device API. Also, we can see here that the app worked, but it is just this little screen. Um, and you can just ask or mention things, uh, either mention them to Mr. Crayfish on Twitter. Um, and if you have any problems with the actual API itself, uh, and it's not a bug with the API or something that's not implemented, then just leave a comment below or, yeah, just ask on the API if even if it is just a problem. Because the API forums, there are helpful people there who will help you, and um, you can also suggest, say, bugs and stuff or give suggestions, uh, which you can also do to Mr. Crayfish on Twitter. But I, I would probably recommend um, leaving something on the suggestions in the forums because... You don't want to spam him on Twitter too much because that will annoy him and it will get lots of notifications. Actually, maybe you should do that. No, don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is uh, our little app here that we can we can also put in like a icon for it, um, change layouts, and remember that this because this is really early development. There may be lots of updates pretty um, in quick succession, succession uh, like lots of updates pretty often uh, with quite big changes and they could break your code at times if you do have a problem with if there is an update then in the next tutorial after that update I will make a uh, any changes that we need to make to the code um, because there will sure to be some at least in most updates and I'll mention those updates at the start of the video or I will make change to the description put something in the description below as what you actually need to do at this point for that thing with the latest update um, but yeah that is it for this tutorial um, so thank you very much for watching, definitely for like, comment and subscribe for more. Uh, and don't forget to check out Mr. Crayfish's channel, link in the description below. Uh, and check out like his development of the actual mod. Um, he's probably, he's got a video about this um, device API. Probably a better tutorial of how to set it up than this. But yeah. Um, and yeah. Thank you very much for watching, definitely for like, comment and subscribe for more. Thanks, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.